Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are looking to get a fair amount of war score still here with Elenia. And actually if I can pull up the lag creation device. Hey that didn't create lag. Apparently restarting the game fixed that. Okay so um, they would currently accept white piece but of course we want this territory right here. We need more war score for that we're at 80% right now. So we are just going to continue pushing in. I'm just checking on the status of our armies. That all looks reasonable. Now we're chasing after these forces. You guys can come up over this way. See if you can catch. Wonderful. So we're just going to take forward a little bit here. We can invest in Admin Tech 30. But I'm going to hold off on that still. So we're going to get rid of that. Standardized uniforms we already decided we're not going to do. We're going to hold off on ideas for now. But we can, if we sort by unity here, we can start converting in purse. And that is something we absolutely will do. And now we will tick forward and win ourselves a battle instantly, apparently. Where are you going? You're going into Merv. Okay, we'll chase you. Fantastic. And we're going to chase down over this way as well. And in the meantime, we're just taking some territory up over this way. You can push up over this way. That is an uncolonized piece of land. Fascinating. Okay, we're going to push up to this fort. And we'll head up over this way. And I guess all the way up over here. We're just going to push these guys down over this way. How are we doing on that war score? 85. They currently have 57 reasons to not accept this. Fair enough. We've, we're reaching near our maximum monarch power for our admin. So we may need to grab this technology. But uh, for right now, I'm not super interested in that. We're just going to continue pushing our way up through here. We're going to come after this stack, make sure they don't cap anything back. Elenia wants peace. We do not want peace with Elenia. We're going to push over this direction. I'm not sure exactly where these guys are going. We're going to keep a bit of an eye on this. We're going to catch this, this Keratin force. Okay. This will be no problem. Fantastic. Now we're going to come over and catch this one. Okay, how are we doing on this peace deal? We're at 87 war score with them right now. Okay, they're not into it yet. Well, we'll stack wipe that stack. And then we'll come over here and stack wipe this stack. Wonderful. The Asian second can pretty much head home. Where's the Asian second belong? Like down over here, I think? Yeah, that'll be fine. This is the Asian third and it's currently headed there. That's also fine. Is this a wasteland? That is a wasteland, okay. And we are going to see if we can come around over here. Wonderful. As soon as this fort falls, I think we're good. We are, of course, starting to get into some pretty treacherous areas over here. Oh, we are at our maximum monarch power right now. We should absolutely grab this, son. Okay. Maybe we should have gone for an idea instead. Might have been smarter. Well, let's see if they're willing to accept our terms. They are! Fantastic. Okay, Elenia, we're going to take all your money, well, as much money as we can, and we are going to take this territory. Consider that border gore cleaned. We're going need to need to tick one day. And now with these guys, I want to carve their territory back a fair amount. We can't take everything, but we can take a good chunk. Something kind of like that. Actually even grab that. Or maybe this. Yeah, I like the, the shape of this border better. We'll also take what gold we can. 
War is over. We're going to need to core, of course. And we can't core all of it, naturally. Going to get rid of this fort. And let's start sending our armies home. This is the Asian first. And the Asian first, I believe, belongs up here. Okay, and this is the Asian second, which is already on the way home. This is the Asian sixth. We're going to send that over to Crimea. This is the Arabian first. We're going to send that home. This one is the Asian third, which I believe belongs... You know what? I don't know where the Asian third belongs. We're going to park them somewhere over here. Maybe where they have a decent supply limit. Um, Anything good? Actually, that'll do. That's the sixth. And this is the European fifth, who of course comes back to Macedonia. Wonderful. Okay, so there's that dealt with. We have no truce with the Byzantines at this point. We should probably consider fighting the Byzantines once our troops get a little bit more in position. And once we get a few more cores made. Because we can probably full annex the Byzantines at this point. Monastery will be rebuilt for prestige. Eh, we'll take the hit on the prestige, thanks. Can we build any town halls? Well, yeah, but a lot of those places need to be cored. And I'd rather be working on coring them right now, realistically. And so we shall. The African first is chilling, that's fine. The European first is... Not supposed to be taking attrition here. It's because this French army is walking through. How rude. Second Colonial is uh, down here taking attrition. That is expected. We're going to move them up. And the uh, First Colonial is also taking attrition, but that's because we have not finished our construction on these ships yet. That are intended to come in over here. How's that going anyway? Where is that ship construction? I thought for sure we had ships coming in here. Well, we'll bring them in now. And yeah, now we're building the ships. Fantastic. But did I just not scroll down far enough? Is that, like, parked right here? <laughs> That'd be awkward. Anyway. Are we ready to attack the Byzantines? Well, not yet. We need to wait for the Macedonian army to get here for sure. Uh, let's bring the Asian third in as well, just as insurance, I think. So put the Asian third in there, and then the European sixth will make its way over... Where is the European sixth in this? I know it's here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. Here it is. Okay, that's the European sixth. Where is that revolt? I didn't check. We need the European fifth, which is this army. And they are going to go to Constantinople. And that rebellion was up here. Okay. We'll put that down. We'll also start coring. Fantastic. So we're going to wait for those three armies, or rather those two armies, to get into position over here. It'll take them a little bit of time. We do have some rebels brewing. As expected. These poor Byzantines. They've been so screwed this entire game. I feel sorry for them. Popular religion, huh? Clergy would gain loyalty and influence. Um, okay, we'll, we'll do that. Quick question. Can we grab land if we didn't have that rebel army? Yeah, we could. We're going to head up there, of course. And I think we'll grab some land away from our estates. Just as soon as this battle is over and this territory taken back. Wonderful. We'll also core. There we go. And we'll seize some land here. All estates will lose loyalty, but that's okay. There we go. 37% crownland. Wonderful. 
Still waiting on some armies to come in over here. The uh, Byzantines just lost against their noble rebels. I kind of feel really bad for them. Wouldn't they just be so much better off in our empire? Like, I feel like they would. Okay, we'll attack up over here. Put down those rebels. Our armies are nearly in position. I want you in Gallipoli, actually. They walked into those rebels. Okay, we have some revolts. We'll have to put these down. And delay our plans just a little bit. Okay. There's that group of rebels dealt with. Where's this one? Oh. Awkward. Okay. That also contains these over here. We'll send this army to contain this. Pronsk will send the Crimean force up to. These guys... We'll also send the Crimean force to deal with them, I think. And then these Polish separatists. Okay. It'll take a little time, but we'll deal with all this. No big deal. And we'll continue our coring. We're winning some battles. Okay, a battle over here. We'll go put that down. Or rather, a rebellion, not a battle. Yep, we do expect some rebels to be successful here. This is all completely fine. Wonderful. We'll move up over here. Realistically, I don't think we need this third army. Particularists in quite a few locations, huh? Okay. Manageable. So we'll put those down. We'll take these guys up over here. And we'll put down these particularists. Where's the European third at? Ah, they're over here right now. We'll bring them on over. Wonderful. We'll get in position for this war. I don't think we need three armies anyway, realistically. We probably don't even need two. Let's have you swing up and deal with them first. Wonderful. We'll continue coring. Okay, we have occupied over here. We have a couple more rebellions spawning. We'll take these guys back over to Konigsberg. Some in Scarborough. We'll deal with that in a moment. Okay, we'll swing down over here and deal with those. No big deal. Wonderful. So that's all under control. Seems like there was something over here that was not. Yes, that is correct. There's also this. We're going to swing up with that. Correct. Wonderful. I have no real qualms about what's happening here. In fact, we're just going to declare an imperialism war on these guys. We're going to push to their capital. We're going to cross over here. In fact, we're going to cross over to where this fort is. Wonderful. So that war is under control. We have a few battles that we won. Okay. Over there, as well as over there. Fine. We'll go deal with that. This is all expected. Wonderful. We'll take these guys up over this way. See if we can catch these forces a bit. We want a battle there. Okay. Okay, I did not notice these particularists previously, but that's not a problem. These guys will come attack these separatists. We won the Battle of Scarborough, and we'll send the European Second down to, down to deal with that. Okay, this seems fine. Two more revolts. We'll send the European Sixth over to deal with this one. 
and in Bosnia. I'll actually redirect these guys over there. Fine. We'll continue coring. We're getting very close to being done with spending our admin power coring here. We're going to attack over here. I'm not concerned about this. I'm actually going to send the Asian second back to its garrison point. You guys can attack over here. Seems good. We're at 51% war score right now. And what do we actually want here? Can we full annex these guys? No, not quite. That feels bad. Wait, we can full annex them, but we can't vassalize them. <laughs> That's awkward. That's real awkward. Okay, well, we're going to aim for that full annexation. What can we core over here? Can't core this one? We have 16. That's odd. Tell my heir to start worrying. Indeed. We want a few more rebellions. And we're going to actually respond to this up here. These guys definitely need to come down over here. And we'll core this. Actually, we are maybe converting these or something. I'm not sure. That's a bunch of revolts. We expect this. Okay, a revolt in Crimea. That's okay. We'll swing over there soon enough. Lulaba. Actually, there's quite a few over here. That's fine. Do something like... Actually, we'll send this force up to here and this force inland. Okay, that one's dealt with already. Come over there. And in Lindy. Fantastic. No problem. Okay, so these cores are well underway. A minor inconvenience indeed. <laughs> Continuing to be minor inconveniences. We do expect this. This is 100% expected. Those are all under control. We'll head up over there. Actually, we're going to swing over to Crimea. I think Ethiopian Canada is going to cap this back for us. Kind of looks like that's their goal anyway. Fine. So a few more rebels popping. Specifically over here. We'll deal with this one. Is that in the correct location? Yes, that is. Okay. We won the Battle of Lindy. Samarkand is now uh, cored. Happy about that. There are a lot of rebellions happening. There's no doubt about that. That tends to happen, though. You should probably be capping this back. Good, good. I was hoping that this fort would fall by now, realistically. Unfortunately, it has not. So we're just banking up our admin power because how much admin power is this? Actually, it just fell. How much admin power is this going to cost us? 417. Quite a lot. Good to know. Okay. We're going to send this force over here. That one's taken care of. Some separatists in Stockholm. We'll deal with those. You guys can come on over here. And some over here. We'll deal with those. Why don't you come deal with these guys? Perfect. There's some more coring happening. We're down to 94.5% aggressive expansion. I want to pull the European Fourth back to Montpellier. Okay. These guys are actually taken care of by... Bill Zero. I'm okay with this. 
and let's go in. I want to wrap this war up. This is kind of annoying over here, but I think our vassals will take care of it. Knight Separatists over here. We'll deal with that. And this force is supposed to be garrisoned in this region anyway, so we'll send them over. Perfect. We're currently at 83% war score. Make that 92. Make that 96. We don't really care about this occupation over here, realistically. More Separatists over here. That's fine. We'll deal with that. Nope, I do not want peace yet. Give me just another couple weeks here. There we go. That is 99% war score, but they would still accept this. They have five reasons. So we'll also grab whatever gold they'll let us. Full indexation, 195 gold. Let's go. These are now considered rebel armies. And they're going into Epirus. We're going to head over there. We're also going to send the Asian Third home. And the Asian Third... Where are they supposed to be stationed? I don't remember where the Asian Third goes. The Asian First goes over into this region, where these rebels are. I guess we'll just station... Well, the Arabian First goes down over here. The Asian Third, I guess we'll just station them, like, up over this way. Anywhere with a half-decent supply limit in this region. Certainly not up there. I guess it'll have to be there. Okay. Well, we're currently at 200% overextension. So, um... This is gonna be a thing. <laughs> we're gonna have some rebels. That's okay. We 100% expect this because they're currently heading into Thessaly. We can probably catch them for sure from there. We're going to instantly stack wipe this. Teutonic Separatists. Up over here. We're going to send the Asian Sixth to deal with that. Okay. Seems good. This over here we have not fully taken care of yet, so we are going to do so. Good. We'll continue our coring project. And these guys are not going to die, or rather, not going to live. <laughs> they're not going to die. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're just, they're immortal rebels that only got a little stack wiped. <laughs> Very silly. These guys can go ahead and head back up to where they're supposed to go. I clicked right through all those revolts, actually. Uh, that one's already taken care of. Uh, here's one up over here in France. We'll deal with that. And where was that last? There was a third one. I'm quite certain of this. India, perhaps? No? Oh, over here. Okay, that's fine. It's already taken care of. Okay, we are currently down to 173.6% overextension. It's going to continue coming down. That's a number of revolts. Also a couple of one battles. That one's going to be done. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to send the Arabian army to go deal with the revolt in Fayum. Over here, this army can deal with that. Kainu, this army can deal with. Argyle, of course, we're going to have this army deal with that one. And Varanasi. That's real awkward. Okay. <laughs> we managed to get there. Fantastic. Well, we're just going to continue working on these rebels for a little bit. We do, of course, need to... Uh, let's check in, actually, on our unrest here. That's not too bad, considering how ridiculously overextended we are right now. That's really not bad. And here's three more revolts. 
One in Nunu. That's fine. We're going to take back Upemba first. One in Tagali. We'll deal with that. And one in Kanakt. We'll deal with that after this rebellion here. We did get there in time. That's great. And we do need to convert, and so we shall. It's a lot of one battles. Okay, we'll come down over there, and this force is not quite ready to be redirected, sadly. They're going to core all. Okay, we have some Separatists in Norfolk. Fine, we'll come back to those. It's all fine. Minor inconvenience only. Up we go. We're down to 64 more provinces with unrest. And here's a few more revolts. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We did get Byzantium under our control in full. We're going to turn our attention, of course, to Poland and Alania. We're also going to probably start working a bit in India if we can. But I do need to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next episode, we're going to get our overextension down, and we are going to continue pushing through Europe. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.